Houston and the color condition were kind of drawn together in a, in a way. Houston is about their community and their diversity and bringing all these people together. We like for our work to go into spaces where it's very accessible and with Houston being one of the most important art cities and they really do support the arts and the artists here. It's been an honor to bring our work here. So when you come in, the piece is, you know, called Arcade because we're playing on play and so each kind of name within that touches on that. You know, it's not Arcade in the conventional video game, but we have Double Dutch, which is the piece that spans across the street between the convention center and the park. And then we have the hopscotch, which is a two-sided sculpture where the hopscotch is on um, the Discovery Green side, and then you cross right over on the street and you get to the convention center side, so you have the other half of hopscotch. Um, again, another street playing game, and it's a full covered canopy, two, two of the largest canopies we've ever done, and then the hopscotch is double-decker, so it's like... A double layer, gigantic, crazy. I mean, it's like this when the wind blows, this crazy amoeba animal that just kind of like spreads its tentacles and um, really, really comes to life. Uh, and then we have the light poles that run down the length of the convention center, and that is called Red Rover. So it's again encouraging people to, you know, really merge the gap between the convention center and the park as a space to commune in this wonderful place with all this art. As far as the installation goes, once the pieces are made and hung, the exciting part about that is that then we no longer have control over them. Then after that becomes an experiment of just the sort of unknown of how nature affects it. The part that I enjoy the most happens a lot on other installs as well. The teamwork part of it, I kind of hate saying the word teamwork, but it's being with the people and making something together is my favorite part about it. I think public art is important because it gives you an opportunity to put it out there in a space for people to just sort of happen upon it and they don't have to seek it out because we're creating these moments. You know, it's temporary installation work. And the point is to have moments. And they, you know, they'll, they do take you, like you, you walk up to it and you, you're not thinking about anything else. You're just looking up and thinking, man, isn't this amazing? And then you feel like, and you can look around and see everybody experiencing that same kind of moment. And then that brings everyone together in that moment. So it's like moments on moments on moments. Like that's, that's, that's the joy and the magic of, you know, let's celebrate this second right here, and then it's gonna be gone. Whether it's the colors or the sound or the movement and the different angles that the work can be viewed at, I think that's part of what makes it something for everybody. Houston has given us a lot of love and the opportunity to do this, to share our work, so this has been a beyond incredible experience so far.